In this section, I'm going to show you how to configure calculator. The calculator application basically can take points from the Win database and then alter, create new points in the Win database or control other points for other applications. From that perspective, the, the calculator is a very good example of a data translation application or a DTA. Okay, and these applications like the logic links application is another example, the analog grouping DTA. We've got a lot of data translation applications that can assist you with whatever you're trying to accomplish in your substation. So the calculator is a fast way to uh, accomplish a small um, project that or a small uh, implementation, a small uh, equation that you have to um, uh, basically uh, try to implement in your substation so for example I was once in a substation project where I had to uh, convert the degrees centigrade into a degrees Kelvin <clears throat> and we were provided a sensor that was providing us the information in degrees centigrade and we had to uh, provide it to the um, master or uh, the EMS system in a degrees Kelvin so we had to carry out that calculation inside uh, the D25 prior to delivering the information out of the D25. So you would receive it one way, you would alter it in the D25, and then you will transmit it on a different way. You can receive it with one protocol and then deliver it with any of the 100 protocols. So you can receive it with Modbus, for example, alter it in calculator, and then deliver the information using DMP. That's basically the power of automation and the power of this uh, device, the D25. So in this uh, exam, in this section, I'm going to cover how to create a digital input, how to convert that digital input into another digital input, how to create a digital input and convert it into an analog input, how to utilize a digital input to drive a digital output in another application. And uh, toward the end, I will uh, summarize it for you. So for the last piece of this uh, demonstration, uh, it, what I will do is I'll do calculator for you. So um, uh, we left it here with the terminal emulator. We're going to close our terminal emulator. We'll go back and over our D25 device. Now, the application for calculator is A083. So we have to enable that application. We don't see it on our list because we're showing only the enabled applications. So we go check on show disabled applications. Now application A083 is a DTA or a data translation application. It's an application that changes points inside the Win database. So what we will do is we will take the calculator and uh, we see it in here. What we want to do is enable it. So we right click on it and we click on enable application. Another way to enable an application is while highlighting the application. You can click on enable application. Other way you will enable your calculator DTA application or A083-0. Okay. Once we have enabled the A083-0 because it's, it works with the Win database, um, we'll go to the System Point database, and we can see it enabled in here as A083 application. Now we can enable it before D25 plant I/O or after D25 plant I/O. If we want it to be after, we can move it. So we can click in here, move and move it down. Click OK. Right. and we have moved our D25 uh, calculator to under the D25 plant IO. Okay, so uh, like in the D25, you can see that it moved to under the D25 plant IO. Um, in order to configure any application, so we'll show only the enabled ones, and we can see that we've got the plant IO, which we already configured. We, uh, we've got the system point database, the West main. And uh, for the calculator DTA, we can go ahead and configure it. To configure any application, uh, if you're not aware, in our system, you would need the configuration guide. So in this case, I will need to open the A083 uh, application uh, configuration guide. 
okay so let's do that I'm going to show you uh, this uh, configuration guide and basically this is the latest that you can download uh, from our website so in this configuration guide uh, which is very useful configuration guide uh, the first thing they would like to show you is that uh, there is a table that define all of these points that we have so for example we can have a digital input digital output analog input analog output and uh, timers and counters defined as di capital di capital do capital ci capital ai capital ao capital ti right and <clears throat> in here the equal equal not equal greater than less than greater than or equal less than or equal is uh, how if we want to do a comparison uh, operator so we can say ai 35 less than 2389 or di 56 is equal equal to zero so we can test these conditions and find out the status of these conditions now the status of these conditions would be recorded in a calculator on point this calculator on point will be defined in the uh, uh, win database so just to show you an example in here okay i'm going to open the calculator application right which if it is not enabled you would enable it so we open the calculator application you will see the two tables in here there is the digital input table and that's where you define your points that are coming from the other applications so for example if we have plant io points that are coming from the transformer that we just have uh, given an example of right we can configure the first two points and then uh, make make an operation on those two points in the digital inputs table so the digital inputs table is basically to control the calculator points and the information that goes into the calculator points the digital input points uh, table collect from the win database into the digital input into the uh, to be used inside the calculator so as an example we've got two points here transformer alarm one transformer alarm two we could add a third point basically when you click on a record you will get a listing of the points that are available in win right so let's say transformer alarm three this will be referred to as capital d i just like in the document capital d i right one this will be referred to as capital di2 and so on right and then when we go to the digital inputs table we will define this first expression to be di1 capital di1 and and right so we'll do an and and The one and will give you a binary operation, but we don't want to do a binary operation. We want to do a real so you can have double or double and or basically an or an and and a not. Okay and so we have the i1 and and the i2 okay and once you're done the calculator that's it for the calculator configuration in order to configure those two points click save and we need to define the point inside the win database so we go back to the win database and we will find a cal we have to define a calculator so we go to the points we add a point in here right and then we go to the description and we can type whatever we want in the description let's say di1 and and di2 okay and then you press close there is a red dot just generate this configuration So SG config will generate the downloadable file that we can download our D25 similar to the way we did it before there is zero errors zero warnings you connect to the device 
We log in. Right. I would like to change the baud rate to a higher baud rate so that we can have a fast download this time. Now we're working at 38,400. If we press F7, As you can see that uh, the configuration is downloading very fast now. Once the download is done, uh, Config Pro will prompt me for reboot. When it reboots, it's got the D25 will reboot at 9600. So we would need to reset up our terminal to 9600 uh, bot rate among, uh, upon the uh, finalization of configuration. So all we did in this uh, setup is that we took two digital input points which are coming from the field into our digital input card and we are just adding them together to create a pseudo digital input point that's owned by the calculator application. Okay, so it prompts us to boot, Click boot, right? We're not at the same baud rate as such we see these uh, characters that are not at the same baud rate. Go to the port, set it to 9600 baud rate again and we click connect we're going through the boot and it's good that you're seeing this uh, boot because if there is any issues during the boot screen right this is a normal boot right so you can compare it to your boot if there is any issues that are different if it says you know missing firmware or anything like that then immediately you can tell what's wrong if the uh, memory addressing is not proper it means there is a problem with the definition of your uh, of your uh, memory uh, uh, setup so in this case it has found the configuration block and it's running the configuration it's verifying the flash code D25 boot normally. We log in. I have to go to the error log, verify that there is no errors pertaining to my applications B008, B097, um, A083. And then I go into the digital input display. I open a second window on the digital input display. Now, as I said, the, the, the calculator point was uh, point number 632 because it's at the end of all the points that has been defined but for the plant IO, the 631 points that have been planned that has been associated with the 600. And both of them are off. As such, the outcome of my ending is off. So DI1 and DI2 are off. If I switch the first one to on, on and off will give you off. So that's normal uh, behavior on and on now the outcome of the digital input that's owned by calculator becomes on right if we switch it one of them to off it comes back to off right and so on right so just for completeness i'm going to give you another example with analog inputs for example all right let's say create we create an analog input point okay so we're going to close this go back we open the calculator. And let's so we've got our points already mapped in here. Alarm one, DI1, DI2. I'm just gonna add them together into an uh, into an analog point, for example. So to do that, instead of going to the digital inputs table to create a digital input that's owned by calculator, I'm gonna go to the analog input table 
analog inputs table and create a point that is uh, an analog input point that's uh, owned by calculator. So I will say di1 plus di2. So this is part of the plus operators, right? So plus for addition, minus for subtraction, multiplication, division, and model. So I'm just going to say di1 plus di2. I'm going to create another analog input point that says di1 minus di2. Okay, and we go ahead and we save it. Now, because we created two analog input points owned by calculator that are analog input, I have to go back uh, after saving. I have to go into the Win database and if you see at the analog input it says zero so I have to add those two points so I can click on points while highlighting the calculator go to the analog inputs add the two in here so now I've got two points you can give them description and I have to go to my analog input tab instead of the digital inputs tab so I go to the my analog input tab I'm gonna name the first one di1 plus di2 the second one I will name di1 minus di2 okay and then we click OK click OK again right now my configuration is perfect can close it generate my configuration right I mean this calculator application which is in every firmware that we give to every customer is a great tool you can do timers you can do uh, addition subtraction all of that uh, simplified um, expressions and even I've seen complicated uh, expressions being implemented once you get comfortable with this application then we connect to the West main right when you see the screen like this you press ctrl R that would redraw your West main screen I'm just gonna close the other window right click escape we still haven't downloaded our new configuration we have generated it but we haven't downloaded it so we click and I would like to go to a higher baud rate so I'll go to the baud rate 38400 disconnect right go to options set the port setting to 38400 click OK connect now we're connected at, at a higher baud rate press F7 and we start the download of the configuration Okay. So what we are expecting to see is that there will be two analog input points that's owned by calculator, right? And because we are downloading the description, it's easy for us to locate these points. Without downloading the description or putting proper descriptions, you will be guessing the placement of these points. So it's a, always a good um, uh, practice to put proper expressions. And I showed you how you can import those expressions very quickly from... Uh, an Excel sheet you don't have to do all the expression typing inside uh, the SG config or the um, table for win database Okay, and our download is done. We can boot the configuration. Again, we change our baud rate back to the 9600 baud rate. Click connect. D25 go through a normal uh, reboot.
out. Okay, like I said, there is you can have complex expressions, simple expressions, um, divisions, right? Um, beside the plus and minus, you can do a latch on, latch off, trip. So you can uh, basically do trip or close uh, digital output for 500 milliseconds once the digital input uh, one or two is true so I'll log in Wastronic RD hopefully you're uh, more comfortable with this um, access right now so we've got the first two points on I'm just gonna turn them to off okay and then we open the window go to the system data display go to analog input display go to the final points okay and they are 0 and 0 this one is DI1 plus DI2 now because of both of them are 0 we will get 0 DI1 minus DI2 both of them are 0 we will get 0 so what happens if I flip DI1 to on what we see is uh, DI1 minus DI2 will give you 1 and 1 minus 0 will give you 1 so 1 plus 0 is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 if I flip DI2 on right we will see 1 plus 1 is 2 1 minus 1 will give us 0 so that is expected behavior if we do this right where the di1 is off and the di2 is on we can see that we are getting 1 or plus 1 and for the analog alarm the second analog alarm is negative 1 so as you can see very quickly very easily you can achieve um, automation in your uh, substation okay so we have covered how to create a digital input uh, summarize a, di a digital input two digital inputs into a one digital input uh, create a new alarm from certain set of alarms so that's how you can accomplish alarm grouping inside the d25 or you can utilize our alarm grouping dta the reason why would you utilize our alarm grouping instead of creating yours because the alarm grouping dta would give you much more facilities than uh, you, you can sit for hours trying to figure out how to do something and we have already implemented uh, all of these uh, DTAs um, I've shown you how to utilize the analog inputs I've shown you how to utilize the digital outputs there is much more to the calculator than I can show in uh, in this webinar obviously and hopefully that uh, that document the config guide document will guide you through uh, further and uh, bigger uh, jobs that you will carry at your substation hopefully you're very comfortable with the d25 with the configuring all aspects of the d25 at this point i will unmute the phones for questions and answer this is the final uh, question and answer session and uh, i really thank you for uh, attending uh, this webinar